I have genetic gout. If it's really bad, I just cannot walk. For 30 years, Bill Downing of Reading has struggled with medications and treatments. Sometimes medical marijuana is his only refuge from the pain. Pain control from cannabis products is quite different than it is from, uh, for instance, aspirin or NSAIDs or opiates. So have you ever wanted the medicinal effects of marijuana without actually getting high? Yes. Absolutely, no question about it. This can be considered as groundbreaking uh, accomplishment. That accomplishment is happening here in this lab at Northeastern. To take up the reaction vial, and the reaction vial is going in. Professor Ganesh Thakur has a $2 million grant from the National Institutes of Health. He's developing compounds that will mimic the positive aspects of marijuana without the high. This will be a pioneer drug. There is no other drug in the market that can do this. Abhijit Kulkarni is a graduate student. I am absolutely excited about it. I think this has a huge scope as far as its medical properties are concerned. And uh, getting rid of the high component of marijuana will only increase people's belief in its curative properties. This project is primarily focused on the treatment of glaucoma, but the hope is that it will provide relief for patients with all kinds of diseases and conditions. I would say cancer pain, glaucoma, post-traumatic stress disorder, Huntington's disease, multiple sclerosis. It's actually evaporating the solvent. In as little as 10 years, a patient could get the healing power of marijuana's active ingredient THC by taking one pill a day. Professor Thakur believes that will make delivery of the drug much more realistic for patients. You cannot ask a patient to go and smoke every three, four hours to mention, you know, to smoke overall six to eight times per day. Downing readily admits that sometimes he likes to get high, but he knows many patients don't. He couldn't be happier that science is working to give everyone an option. And praise the Lord. Let him do it. Uh, I mean, thank God that, that researchers are finally doing this work. Dr. Malika Marshall, WBC News.